beautiful day. Come on in. All right, so what are we doing? I am carefully trying to tuck this rubber seal around the sensor, and it is extremely tight. Try not to mess this up. Oh my gosh, today is not the day. Welcome back to the channel. We have a, it's not even brand new, but it's, it's about to look new when we get done with it. X5M is currently white. Um, white cars, I stopped buying white cars in the south. We love wrapping white cars. But they do look good when they're finished, but they're such a pain in the butt to do. We're about to make this look a whole lot better. It's going in the KVMF Opulent Indigo. Already sitting on a fresh set of HRE wheels. Lowered, dyned in tune, so it sounds nasty. It goes fast. The guy asked us if we could drift it. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but it would be dope. Um, man, we got a lot of stuff to do on this thing. We gotta get started. All right, so super important, if you are uh, wrapping your car, definitely make sure that you have it clay board. This car has been washed two times, and I don't know how well this will sound on the camera. Sounds like sandpaper, definitely shouldn't sound like that. So we're gonna clay this just a small spot here real quick. Just so you can hear the difference in it. There are different clays out here. You can do medium clay, heavy clay, fine clay. Um, this one is not terrible, but it definitely needs some clay. Make sure there's no trickery on the camera. I don't even know if you can hear that. So this is super slick now. This still sounds like, but it doesn't sound good. So now we gotta get the rest of this stuff played out. Make sure you do it. It's gonna make your job look 100 times better. A lot of the stuff that you can't see to the naked eye will show up, especially on a white car, will show up when you start wrapping it a darker car, like we, or a darker color that we will be wrapping it. Um, so you want it as slick as possible to be able to bite as well. And uh, you don't want any trash showing through it, man. This is a BMW, man. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Alright, do I make him look good? Let's no. Cut to when this tire comes off. I wonder if I could get this stuff off. It's rusted itself shut. Oh. Alright. Well, I did kick it a little bit. It felt nothing. They're getting re re uh, we're getting fixed and repowder fixed. Refinished. Refinished. Both, you see, this don't kill me. <laughs> Welcome back to Morgan's Corner. Morgan's working hard on shopping over there. We had her bobbing her head. She's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy! So, so far we got the car um, completely taken apart. Front bumper, back bumper, everything's taped off. Matt broke something, but he fixed it. And here we are. Now we are trying to figure out the maximize, the well, efficiency one, and then B, also how much material we can get out of one piece instead of just wasting it and slapping it on there. Because we are going to get the quarter panel, the door, the front door, and the rocker, and the back flare out of one piece. 
very carefully. In my mind, I am Rubik's cubing this together because this is on back order. So if we screw up, well, well we're just screwed because there, there's no getting any more of this film. So no pressure, you know, we're good. Wipe that off. guys have any kind of banding in your film is does this happen from time to time with different manufacturers um, sometimes it is removable sometimes it's not um, you can do it with heat preferably a steamer if you're not comfortable with a torch but you can run a torch over it and actually get rid of the banding um, I don't know how well you could see it here on this back door section the front and back door or maybe you can get it on the front door there basically you run over it with some heat uh, and it will completely get rid of it for the most part again some are worse than others we have run into an issue with 3m before we had to send three rolls back that's just 3m for you that's all i gotta say beautiful day come on in. so any of you guys are wrapping the car that you know for a fact has been repainted. This is a test I like to do. It's gonna save you a whole lot of time, headache, material, all that good jazz. We know for a fact this spins, this uh, this entire back bumper for this section has been spot repaired in. They didn't do the best of a paint job. You can see a lot of issues in it, um, but especially where tight recessed areas are, um, they can't get in there to sand. And if they don't sand well, then the paint won't stick. And when you go to wrap. It's gonna lift it up, it's gonna stick on the back side of your wrap. Your wrap's not gonna be sticky, and you're gonna rage quit and probably go murder a bunch of people. We don't want that to happen, so we're here to save you and all the people that you would have murdered. So I like to put a piece of tape down and really just rip it off like a wax strip. And to my surprise, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not surprised. I knew that was gonna happen. But they did a crap job painting it. I don't know whether you can see that on camera either. But. So, try to get as much loose paint as you can off. Um, you can see a section here. Yeah, all this right here. I was nice with taping it up, getting ready to do an inlay in there because we knew it's been painted. We don't want any tension on it that is going to cause it to lift up and pull paint. Uh, but for this right here, we're gonna have to basically sand this out. We're gonna have to feather edge it. I'll have to call the customer. He knew that this was a possibility. We pointed out it had been painted before it even came in. Um, and we'll just have to deal with the consequences of sanding it. And hopefully we'll be able to wrap it first try and not have any lifting. So I've got to sand this out. Got the other inlay done in here, which again, we weren't going to do if it hadn't been painted, but it's been painted. So we did it. It is what it is. This and the back hatch. And get the wheels back. We're good to go. All right, so what are we doing? I am carefully trying to tuck this rubber seal around the sensor, and it is extremely tight. I'm trying not to mess this up. Oh my gosh, today is not the day. All right, guys, we are back in the shop, and Matt has gotten a lot done today. He has been the most productive human being on planet. On planet, on the planet. Just yeah, edit that out. So we are almost finished up with this. We've got a hatch. Actually, we just got the hatch and put it back together. Uh, but we also are going to have to wait on the wheels. We've got Timsa Custom Coatings, uh, repowder coating the HREs. Those got sent out uh, a couple days ago. Uh, we'll be getting those back. Then those are going over to Zach's Dynamic Detailing, which he will be ceramic coating the wheels. And then he also will be ceramic coating the car. But the haze that we showed earlier uh, that, has, that goes away with the torch with some heat, there's so much haze in it that it's gonna take forever. So we're actually gonna end up having to steam the entire car to get rid of some of that haze, which is going to add a little bit more time on our plate. And we still have to shoot this car so you guys can watch the cinematic. You better watch the cinematic and you better like it. It is, it's 5.30. 
So that says 528. Okay, it's We got a lot of stuff to do to make sure this thing's done tonight. Don't become a body shot, or never, just don't do body work, period, because it will chase you from now until you die. <laughs> well, my forearm's about to be swole. Now that's precision. <laughs> this is just a good shot, just you, you see precision right behind you. Very iconic. Like, iconic. Like a hero shot. Everybody in the world knows who we are, said no one. I mean, I know. Actually, some people across the world do. We got some guy. Shout out to uh, homeboy from Ghana, if you watch. Appreciate it. What's his name? Aran. Shout out, Aran. Appreciate it, man. So I guess we are one on worldwide. Just kidding. What's up, guys? Uh, so you might not be familiar with who I am because normally I'm behind the scenes. When I say I'm behind the scenes, I mean I'm behind the camera. When I say behind the camera, he means a scrub. You can't even see him. He, he, just ignore <laughs> the small voice you hear in the back of your head. Anyways, guys, I am Wayne. <clears throat> I don't know if you were expecting something a little bit better, but it's not. It's really not really even that exciting, but yes, I am who I am and I stand by that. However, Matt told me, quote, you need to put more of yourself in the videos. And I said, Matt, you don't want me to be in the videos because people don't like my face. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a little <laughs> tour of the shop because I feel like, you know, we've been filming in the shop, but like no one really knows the shop, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go around the shop, do a little tour, you know, and show you guys what we got going on. Follow me. So, you, if you observe here, yeah, we have a, she turned around, <laughs> just back the camera off of her, just get her, her figure, just keep me in frame, keep me in frame. All right, we have, I'm gonna sell it. What? So Matt died. No. What? Wait, did you get the wheel on? Yeah, and I fell. Oh. Okay, a lot going on. Anyways, there's always a lot going on in the shop. We have a Morgan. Uh, she is oh, the man. brains. <laughs> She's the brains behind the operation, okay? The, the designs, the, the crispy, all the fonts I use, sponsored by, she oh is a God. font, Specialist. Uh, anyway, no, no, for real though, Morgan is super dope. She does cool stuff when she does decide to come to work because she can sometimes not come to work if she doesn't want to because she kind of, she's like a, a side boss. She's like, she's a boss, but on the side. I'm the person behind the scenes pulling the strings. I agree with that statement because she was a schemer, but that's a whole scheming. other thing. But we are trying to get a shop dog, so if you guys have any ideas for dog names, well, we are not. or dog breeds, comment no, them below. No, breeds we already We are not trying yes. to have hair under wraps. We already have enough of her hair getting under there. Shots fired. All right, here we have the Precision Wraps and Graphics logo. Oh now, my if you goodness. observe this wall, it may seem that that is a PN. A lot of people have said that, a lot of people say, it looks like a PN. It's like, who designed it? We don't know who designed it. However, if we did, we would not state their name on this channel. <clears throat> Anyways, oh my God. it's the PW logo. It's beautiful. Precision Wraps and Graphics is a beautiful name and it stands for perfection, okay? Because that is what we do here. Oh so, yeah, I thought, I thought it stood for precision. Stay behind the camera, asshole. Sorry, sorry, okay, <laughs> I understand. Follow me. Over here, we have my home that has been invaded slightly by you, but Anyway, my, my monitor right there. Yeah, this is where the magic happens. Really, when you come to Precision Raps and Graphics, you think you come here for the rap, but really, you come here for me. Nobody ever knows that you're even back there. Over here, we have our pride possession at the shop. Uh, some people may call him the rap god. Others may call him a scrub on wheels. Here, we just call him Matt. The man who does it all. He raps. He does body work. I scrub. And the scrub, scrubbing. <laughs> Sometimes we call him Scrubby. Or Scrubbo. Scrubbo. Scrubby McScrubbert's son. He goes by many names. So here we have the wrap 
color board. This is where the magic happens. If you come to Precision Wraps and Graphics to get your car wrap, you come in here, you look at the wall, you pick your color. However, due to recent times, we have these orange dots on the color board. Now, I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds to guess what you think that these dots are for. Ready? One, two, 10. I can't count, I felt elementary school. The key is this, listen. These dots represent colors you can't get right now. I'm gonna pretend like you guys were shocked, so I'm gonna give you a second to get over your disbelief. <gasps> there we go. Anyways, you can't get any of these colors, and this is, and it's not on the other boards, that's because they don't, Matt doesn't know which of those he can't get. But yes, Avery Dennison, 3M, the majority of the colors on this board you can't even get right now due to the shortage. So if you were thinking about getting your car wrapped, uh, I would do it soon, because if not, you may not, rap may not exist in a year. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but no man, once you come in, you know, you, you pick your color out, there's a lot of really cool colors, a lot of people I find it funny, they come in here and they think they know what they want, they have, they're like, oh, I want green, and then they see the 8 billion versions of green you can have, and they're confused, and Matt ends up talking into purple, because that's what he does. Um, so it's an interesting thing to watch go down, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much Pretty much the shop, guys. Uh, you know, it's it's a big place. You know, it's, you got the south wing, the west wing, yes. east wing. What wing are we in now? We're in the south wing, actually. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yep. Just don't turn around because you'll be able to see how small the room is. And then all the way over there. Yep, over there. See that? You yep. can see Morgan. She's in the east yeah, wing. Yeah, that little dot right yep. there. Yep. See She's just in the east in the wing. East wing. <laughs> yeah. Over in the east wing down the hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to bring Matt into focus, you want to get Matt. He's on the west wing. West wing. Yeah, that is the west wing yeah. shop. I ran over here. That's why. Yep. Put just... in a running motion. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Remember to look at it and laugh when this happens. Yes, freedom. Freedom, I guess. You did good. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much the tour of the shop. I don't even know if this is actually gonna make it in the video because I'm a scrub. But if it does, and I am a legend, remember this. Remember it well. Scrub. We're here at Private Collections. We're actually getting ready to do a private shoot, and um, this place is absolutely amazing. If you are in the Greenville area and you have some nice luxury cars that you want to store in a super nice facility, definitely come check this place out. Um, Y'all gotta watch the end of the video to see. Wait, is this gonna be in the video? Yes. It's gonna be in the video. You gotta watch the end of the video to see what we're what we're talking about. So if you guys like it, let us know in the comments. <laughs>